some drove and some marched through the small towns and forested hills of the Ardennes, but the goal was the same, to commemorate the men of the Allied armies who defeated Nazi Germany's last gasp offensive on the Western Front. Uh, that's a special tour we organize each uh, year to a winter rally uh, regarding the, the souvenir of the Battle of the Bud. We plan to go to La Roche and after that we are going back to uh, Ufaris. That was uh, two cities uh, they got a lot of damage during the war. Nearly all of the Belgian Military Vehicle Trust's 500 members were in attendance at the rally. We are really happy to receive a lot of people coming from everywhere, from Europe, uh, from England, uh, from France, Holland. Uh, we are around 180 vehicles and 400 people. The men and women of the BMVT were joined in the Ardennes by more than 1,000 veterans, service members and others who took part in the 82nd Airborne All-American Historical Society March. Marchers braved persistent rain and mud over the ten and a half mile course and were rewarded at the end of their trek with warm wine and good company. U.S. World War II veteran Anthony Grant, who served in Patton's Third Army, was among the marchers. Though the two events were unrelated to each other, residents of the area could have been forgiven for thinking it was 1945 all over again. <laughs>